unpleasant sight for gardeners as the fruits of their labor end up smashed and stolen. A community garden now a target for thieves and vandals. A good crop now gone and growers are seeing red. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. The stealing and vandalism have many upset. Organizers are scrambling. Reporter Emily Zink is live in Council Bluffs with the story tonight. Emily. Well, guys, today I was talking to a resident who actually manages this plot. This is the one she rents. She says she's loved her experience every single year and was so excited for her green peppers. Well, see this dirt pile? This is what's left of her pepper plant. She says someone came in here a few nights ago and dug up the entire plant. Now, the group that runs this says they're trying to do everything to combat the problem and quickly get it solved. Other than the occasional train or plane, the Creek Top Community Garden in Council Bluffs is a pretty peaceful place. When Keep Council Bluffs Beautiful started the garden in 2010, there were 32 plots for lease. Over time, it's grown. Today, all 90 plots are full. It's not just people from this neighborhood that are in this garden. It's people from all across Council Bluffs. Kelsey Johnson, the multimedia coordinator for the Pottawatomie County Development Corporation, says each 4-foot by 8-foot plot is leased for $25. Renters plant what they please and take care of their own spot. I, I had a plot there from day one. Lloyd Burke loved the convenience of a community garden across the street. That was until someone stole his tomatoes. Well, hell, why should I do all the work? Buy the plant, water it, get it growing, and then get the and before I can get to the fruit, somebody else will take it. Frustrated, Burke chose not to rent a plot this year. Taking them off the vine. Johnson says overall they've had minor problems with garden theft. You can see a couple of onion sprouts. That was until this year. But he said he planted this entire thing and now there's just a few sprouts left. It's frustrating. Johnson says not only are people picking what doesn't belong to them, they're digging up the plants. We want people to be satisfied and we want people to get their money's worth and get what they're paying for, and they're not if people are stealing. Johnson says they don't want someone to ruin what's been a great thing for the city. They're working quickly on ways to combat the problem. It's kind of trial and error. We're trying to see what's going to work and what's going to get these people out of the garden. The group who runs the garden says they're now going to have to put up signs saying this is a private garden that people pay to grow their food here. And also they've contacted the Council Bluffs Police Department. There have been increased patrols around the area. Live in Council Bluffs, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News.